So welcome to another episode of Focal Matter and this one's just a tad bit different. Basically, long story short, my father found this Canon Sure Shot M in his attic and gave it to me and this is a 35mm point and shoot and it's perfect at the moment because I've been looking for a little point and shoot to carry around with me instead of my Pentax K1000 and this showed up in my lap which was brilliant. So basically basically f after that attempt of an introduction i'm sure you've guessed it i'm shooting my newly acquired canon sure shot m so for this video i'm actually a little bit cozy I've got my sweats on, I've got my slippers on, the fire's on. Just thought I'd switch up the vibes a little bit. The Canon Sure Shot M is a nifty little thing and it is exactly what I've been looking for. A small point and shoot automatic camera to take out with me on evenings. It's not as bulky as my Pentax. So I can just whip it out and start taking photographs. I love it. I wanted one for a flash because I wanted it for nighttime in the wine bar, taking those flash in your face shots i i love them i think they're really really cool so obviously i wanted to test this camera and just make sure that everything is working perfectly fine with it so i just chucked a cheap roll of pharmapan 200 through this and just pocketed it over the next uh, over the next week and just sort of pulled it out whenever i needed it and just wanted to sort of take photographs I guess this is a perfect opportunity to introduce the latest focal matter family member this is rue so this is how I started my day off, is shooting this little bubba. Then I... You've done your part now. You alright? You having fun in there? Yeah? I took the camera to some work events uh, and just snapped a couple of people. I don't really know what else to say. I took some photographs of some ugly people. And I took some photographs of some really beautiful people. And I'm really happy with the results. I'm happy, I'm good. So I'm gonna run off some of the statistics here. Uh, I don't know them off by heart, so I'm actually just going to read them so you don't think I'm being fake. Um, the Canon is a fully automatic 32mm uh, lens with a... Yeah, it's definitely 32mm. 3.5 uh, lens. <laughs> I really need to get better at learning gear. And obviously it has a built-in flash mode, which I love. So it requires one of those really chody batteries that everyone's seen um, for these kind of cameras. And yeah, that's pretty, they're pretty easy and standard to get a hold of. I actually don't know what shutter speed it is. I think it's like 1, 125, but they vary between with the flash on and the flash off. And if I'm gonna be deadly honest, when I was looking at the statistics of this camera, I don't quite understand this kind of stuff yet. If anyone's actually interested, I'll put a link to the full statistics of this camera because it's probably best you get actual real details rather than just me trying to pretend that I know what I'm talking about. So on a quick walk to Rydal Cave, but just a few more test shots with the camera, see if they come out. I think the camera handled itself well in these outdoor sort of situations, um, especially holding up the details within the sort of rock formations in this area. But I feel like the lens is kind of plastic, which I cannot confirm that as of yet. But there's sort of like this glare between the lights and the darks, like, oh, like, 
the sky for instance it just kind of like feathers around the edges so they're not as sharp as I would like and I don't think that is a glass lens so I cannot find any confirmation on this online so not expecting this fire to be this hot. I am absolutely sweating my man tits off. I love this photograph. I've gone out for a meal with a friend and just capturing the moment real, real quick. I actually took two photographs. So I took one with flash and one without flash so that you can kind of see the comparisons between the shutter speeds between them. And I still loved the one without the flash. You know, this thing just slides in and out of the pocket. So nice to slide in, slide out, slide in, ch -ch -ch, slide out. Ch -ch -ch. In this mansion, I'm a coffee, coffee, and I'm a high five. Hey, what's up, guys? So, I'm just going to be honest and say it. I actually really love this camera. It is like perfect for what I wanted it for, and that is, you know just to pull it out uh, the the any inappropriate moment. No, I'm not talking about that, you dirty folks. Like, I'm not gonna be taking this camera on hikes with me when I want to capture these details or put in experimental rolls through it. I'm probably just gonna keep it with black and white, some Kentmere, some HP5, or, you know, just chuck some Color Plus into it and just always keep one handy for whenever I'm going to the pubs or, uh, going to a party or just meeting friends for breakfast, just have it, grab it in my pocket, pull it out, capture those moments, and then boom. Plus, these things are actually really cool just for flashing people, like, in the face. And just, and then I get photographs of them with, like, five chins, like, I'm very fortunate to have very beautiful friends. So yeah, this one's a keeper, and until I win the lottery and get a contact T2, I'm just gonna run around with my shirt shot M. M for my daughter. So yeah, I look forward to showing you the fun times I have with this camera. Also, I look forward to sharing more times with Rue, my cat, because apparently I'm a crazy cat guy now. Unless you can do some dancing. <laughs> That's so f***ing weird.